Hello! Hi! If you enjoy anything in this video, you should consider the following. Subscribe to me here on YouTube, follow me on Twitch, and on TikTok, where I make other forms of content and where I post my other content. Alright, cool. Enjoy the video. I've been recently seeing a lot of, uh, of, uh, other VTubers with numbers arguably larger than mine, um, getting to the point where they're kind of jaded or burnt out on VTubing and streaming as a whole, and unfortunately, it's... It's a lot of the... I'm seeing that from a lot of people who decided that they were going to do it full-time. And I hate to be that guy, but I don't... Well, we all know that I don't like to sugarcoat or, or be, I guess, too nice about real shit. And unfortunately, a lot of the people that are hitting this mark are people who didn't have the proper facilities in place to do full-time streaming and are like, yeah, I can't do this anymore or I'm tired or like the amount of work that is necessary to make this happen just isn't occurring as much as it should and whatnot. Like there, there are, there are plenty of VTubers who were you know, getting into streaming to do it to pay rent or pay some kind of bill. And it's like, I understand the drive. Or don't get me wrong. I mean, I've said this before, but don't get me wrong. I'm not going to knock anyone's dream for one to do streaming full time. Hell, I want to do streaming full time, but I am painstakingly aware of the fact that there's so much stuff that goes into it, right? Like, you gotta, well, first of all, you, you have to make content that someone somewhere cares about. You have to make YouTube videos, you have to do TikToks, you have to do a whole bunch of stuff, and a lot of it is just luck at the end of the day, right? Hard work and luck. Real life very first time here to go speed with you. Hey, rest easy. Thank you again for the raid and hope to see you around some other time. Um, but like, it's a lot of stuff that goes into it and it's a lot of work and like, like sanity sacrificing you're gonna have to do at some point. And a lot of people that jump into this field they really, really underestimate just how much work that is for real. And it sucks to see people be like, yeah, I don't want to do this anymore. I can't do this anymore. I'm exhausted. It's tiring. I'm not making enough to cover rent anymore and stuff like that. And it sucks. It really does. But... The reality of the situation is that people that slid into it didn't have any kind of backup plan or a safety net or a different revenue source. It was it was just streaming and that was it. And you can't do that. Especially if you're starting out small and a saturated field with enough of smaller people than you and smaller people that are bigger than you you know it's it's a whole conundrum that goes into it and unfortunately because twitch keeps making bad decision after bad decision after bad decision you can't just stream on twitch and live off that you gotta have some third-party revenue source you gotta be getting some level of coin from youtube you have to be like rolling not necessarily rolling in the dough when it comes to subs but you gotta have a steady flow of subs you gotta have a steady flow of bits you gotta have a steady flow of donations you gotta have external sources that allow for 
full-time content creation, full-time streaming, full-time YouTubing, full-time whatever. You got to have a bunch of other stuff in store for that. That's why for me personally, I have commissions, I have my stream loots, and I take sponsorship deals through stream elements, which vary in their payout. But I take them, I do them, I get the money, I do what I need to do with the money, right? I'm not in a numerical position with streaming alone to be able to do full time. Because not only that, like, I have a job outside of here. Well, technically, I have three because I work, I do photography, I do videos, and my commission stuff so you know with what i want to do being what i'm doing right now and being at a point where i'm comfortable enough and for and well off enough to where i can do it full time without any level of worry you gotta work for it and you gotta work hard for it i'm not saying you gotta like you know do blood sacrifices and you know other things that I can't really say due to TOS reasons, but you can't just stream. And there are some people that do have the things that I'm doing and more. Like some people have merch. Some people have uh, like fans leads and only fans and stuff like that to have another such reference. Some people have Patreon. Some people do art and whatnot. And for the people that can do it full time, they busted their ass and enough people recognize the passion and the drive and the content to be like, yeah, I'm going to support this. I'm I'm going to I'm going to do what I can and what's necessary to help you succeed, right? You got people who throw tons and tons and tons of money at someone that they give a damn about. You have people who like whether through networking or not, their stuff gets spread around all the time, and people know them because of their stuff. And then because they get spread around, that drives them more traffic to further be able to do full-time streaming and content creation. And for a lot of people, that's the dream. Unfortunately, for a lot of people, they don't have the real raw drive to do it because you know blah 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 don't pay attention to your numbers and i have another video uh that i'll upload probably sometime later today at the time of recording this about like people giving streamer advice or whatever but people be like don't look at the numbers don't focus on this don't focus on the analytics that and that is wrong that, that, that is objectively wrong and harmful advice to be giving to people. Because on one hand, I get it, right? You don't want to be slave to the numbers. You don't want to constantly have like a bunch of good streams and then one arguably bad stream or whatnot. But you have to pay attention to your numbers. You have to know what does well and you have to know what doesn't work at all. Right, and if you're trying to do full time, yes, absolutely. I am the first one to be like, do what you want to do, stream what you want to stream. It's okay, right? However, that comes with painstakingly paying attention to the numbers and kind of sort of abiding by the numbers, right? Like streaming at certain times um playing certain games at certain times you know like twitch analytics have gotten to the point where it's like hey you have a spike in uh viewership at uh these times and you have a spike in engagement uh when you're playing insert game here and whatnot like that's the stuff that you gotta pay attention to if you're trying to do this stuff full time. And yeah, sure, you know, at the end of the day, streaming should be fun. But if you want to do it full time, you do, unfortunately, have to treat it like a job. 
And if you're getting to the point where you're like, I'm at the end of my rope, I want to give up, I want to quit. You either need to do some extreme re-evaluation. Or you got to figure out what's really working and what ain't working. And if you aren't willing to have that conversation with yourself or anyone else for that matter and to get it together, then unfortunately, this may not be the move for you. And there there are far harsher ways that I have said this to people before, but the harshness was due to them being entitled about it. Like, I should be doing this and this and that. I should be making this and this and that and whatever. And like, like another thing too is that people that want to do this full time that don't have the numbers to constitute that in the long run, um, they do things and I, I don't agree with this at all, but like people do partner pushes and they're like, like 30, 40 concurrent, not average concurrent and like people bust their asses for it but nowadays partner isn't the move <laughs> like you really don't get any benefits from being a twitch partner it's cool don't get me wrong it's a monumental achievement that a lot of people work their asses off to get however the people that do get it the work is there it, they have a paper trail of getting it done, right? The people that have like under, and I and I really want to stress this, the people that have under 50, 60 average and under like 70, 90 concurrent should not be doing partner pushes because and i've talked about this before when you do that and you have all these goals and these achievements and like you have a checklist of things that will happen if you get this sub or that sub or this don't know that don't know people only show up to be like yeah i was there you know they they donated they contributed they're not long time people they're they're in the moment people and when people who do not have the aforementioned numbers do partner pushes all it does is hurt them in the long run because and again i've talked about this before and i will bring this up in the other video that i have to finish subtitling that's gonna get uploaded very soon people only pay attention to the big number when it comes to your to the average twitch viewer People want to watch someone that's either popular or they got some crazy going on event-wise and whatnot. So if you, you know, hype up doing a partner push and hype it up on other social medias, people are going to show up for that, not you. And when they perceive that, oh, this is not a big content creator. They're 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 never going to hit partner. They just leave, right? Or or they stick around in the hopes that you actually make it. And then when you don't, they leave. Cuz I have seen people do partner pushes after hitting like 40 concurrent on one stream. And then they start doing a partner push and then after the partner push is over and they their numbers do not increase at all that 40 drops down to like 15 and 10 and their average plummets into oblivion because again you did it at a time where you shouldn't have done it you did it at a time where it was not feasible in any way shape or form and you were doing it in the hopes of going full time but you don't have safety nets you gotta have safety nets when you do this shit if you don't you're just setting yourself up for failure trying to do this full time and you have 
nothing else going for you. Now, for the people that don't have a choice to make this full time and they're making it work, they're making it work, but it's a lot of stress that goes into that. But again, the average Twitch viewer is mostly big number focused, right? They'll see someone look at your numbers and that that will likely be the determining factor if they're actually going to watch you or not. You know, minus all the ad BS that happens all the time on Twitch. But like, like you said, Danny, a lot of it is down to luck, timing and research. A lot of people don't research what does well or they don't. They don't watch other streamers from a research perspective. They watch them because, yeah, sure, I like this I like this entertainer. They're fun. They're cool. Their content's great. But at the same time, people should make more of a habit of watching someone and learning and memorizing what they do and then take bits and pieces of that and then attach it to their own sauce because you can't make it out here with no sauce. And a lot of people ain't got the sauce. That's just the truth. And it sucks that it has to be explained that way. But with this surge of people just being horrendously mentally and emotionally disheveled at, unfortunately, their dream not happening, it is what it is, you know? Like, there's a lot of stuff that goes into it. You can't you can't just stream you have to do other things right like like i've seen people who only stream trying to do this full time and they don't post anything anywhere else because you know i've said this before too people put way too much importance on twitter numbers like ha having 50k or 60k or 20k or 30k on Twitter means nothing when it comes to your actual content when it comes to your videos your streams your TikToks, your clips whatever else you do Twitter numbers has nothing to do with that because if Twitter numbers mattered there would be a lot more people that would be partnered that would be full-time streamers right yeah, because if we use myself as an example uh at the time of me saying this i have like 450 followers on twitter or whatever if all 450 of those followers watched me on a regular basis and dropped like bits and subs and watch the ads or whatever i could be making a pretty chunk of change and be like way 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 closer to doing this full time than what i am now right if there were people with like the 10 20 30 40 50 a million followers on twitter if those numbers properly translated over to Twitch, they'd be full time living easy, money in the bag at every single opportunity. They never without a little bit of coin on them. But that's not how this shit works. It never works that way. And it will never turn into that. It sucks. But that's what it is. Like, you really, you really got to bust your balls to make this work full time in one way or another. Now, this this conversation is not including those that don't have a choice or are disabled and cannot do the things that most able-bodied people can accomplish. On their own because you know chronic illness is a thing tiredness I, I I know plenty of people who struggle with that but they have found a way to make it work I'm talking about the people who have not found a way to make it work but at the same time they're not doing the things that are necessary to 
to make it work. And that's where the discrepancy lies. Because I pressed the button on accident and I didn't mean to do that. Uh, thanks, laptop. Um, like, like again, using using myself as an example, thanks, right? Thanks. I have not made a lot of money doing this so far. However, I can say that I have made at least four digits worth of money doing this so far. But that's not just because I was only doing this, right? I was making TikToks. Well, I still am making TikToks, making YouTube videos, streaming, doing editing work for myself and other people, doing sponsorship stuff, right? I'm getting money from that. And I'm not doing this full time. And just by me saying that alone, right? I'm in a far, far better position than most other people who have been doing this arguably longer than I have or have started at the same time that I did, right? I made that happen because I wanted it to happen, right? Like, I've done the work. I recognize the work that needs to be done. And I got it done. There are people who still, and I've probably said this like a thousand times by now, but there are people who so still sure aren't willing to do the work. There are still people out here who are like, I'm only going to stream and that's it. And they have to come to the painstaking reality when they're won't be able to do it anymore for financial reasons. It's like, damn, this sucks. I'm upset. I'm this, I'm that. And I'm not putting them down or anything, but it's like, you should have known. I'm, I'm sure someone, someone somewhere told you what the game was really like. And you just it can't be. chose to fucking ignore that. Right? There's a big difference between numbers of community. Yeah, yeah, that's the thing too. Like, People who want to do this full time, they're like, oh, I want a community, I want a community, I want a community, I want a community. But they're not doing the things in place to facilitate the growth of a community. I think that kind of mentality is a lot of people, they have, they're the funny one of their friends group, watch on stream and think to say, yeah, I can do this easy without realizing all the work and knowledge means actual living. Exactly. Not there's, there's not enough people that take any of that into consideration, and that's a problem. And... There's been like plenty of th plenty of Twitter thread that I absolutely detest because it's the most sugar-coated, cookie-cutter, teddy bear shit that doesn't get the point across at all, if ever. But there's 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 there is a wealth of information out there and people giving like actual testimony about like how they want to do it full time and they had to make compromises to get the stuff done and they got it done but again they worked hard to get it done and that that that's just the if 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 anything from however long this video or this segment of stream winds up being out of anything that i've said so far if you want to do this full time, and I'm saying this as someone who is currently not doing this full time. If you want to make this work full time, there is a staggering amount of hard work that you have to do beforehand, during, and afterwards in order to see it become a reality. That's what you got to do. And you got to work real, real, real hard at it. Because if you don't, you just going to be hit. You're going to be hitting. And you're going to be hurting. And unfortunately, you won't have anyone to, you know, be mad at or blame but yourself. Because... The opportunity was around you. There were plenty of people telling you, this is what you gotta fucking do. And for a lot of people, they consistently chose 
not to do it, right? And that sucks. That really does. Because sure, yeah, not everyone can have an editor on hand, right? Some, some, some editors are very, very, very expensive people, right? I am not one of those people, depending on what you're asking for. But some, some people can't afford an editor. Some people can't afford to hire someone to, you know, constantly make their videos for them because that shit costs money and it costs time. But there's nothing stopping someone from getting a free editing program, figuring out how it works, and making it work. But anyway, I've spoken my piece on that. I've got that far, far, far across. And uh, that's that.